Hi, I think I'm on. Woo! Long time no see you guys. I am here where I work on my Poshmark. Um, I need to get my table organized. That's my next thing. But hi, how are you guys all doing? Um, I think it's been like four or five months that I have been on live. So I was going to do a TikTok because now I've been doing TikTok to show what Trisha's new items are that I have posted in her closet. But I thought, you know what? I'll give you guys a preview first. Um, thank you all for joining me. Um, I always think, I know people go, oh, I'm going to go live at this time. But, I, you know, I never know when I'm going to do that. So I can't. So if you just happen to be free and, and you know, hooked on, that's great. Um, hopefully this is working okay. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to see a lot of your um, readings. I'll be up like close in this, but I do want to show you what I have been putting up on Poshmark. But first you guys, um, we'll get a couple more in here and then we're going to cheers. Okay. Um, oh, cute jacket. Yeah, this is actually going to go up on Posh. I think there's something in the back, right? Maybe. <laughs> But yeah, this is really, this is, I don't even think she wore it, maybe once, but a lot of things like on Poshmark now are like, um, have been in boxes for years, you guys. So it's like um, pre-Trisha in the 20s, <laughs> you know, maybe even some teens. So, uh, and a lot of it's new that you can't get again. So, um, and this is like the only one that I found in there. So yeah, it's, it is very cute. And I also got sad boy sweatpants. I don't know if you can see them. But, oh, yeah, these are my most comfy sweatpants, I must say. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, let me see. Oh, I'm almost going to have to have my glasses on. Ooh, that light's bright today. Let me see how we all doing. Cute jacket. Oh, thanks. I missed your grocery hauls and cooking videos. Oh, well, thank you. Um, You know, I just, I don't cook a lot anymore. <laughs> I mean, um, I eat a lot of leftovers. Like if we, like Trisha makes lasagna every week. So I get those and I freeze them because I love, I love lasagna. So I've been eating that. And then I have like this great big bag of frozen chicken breast from Costco that I air fry. But air fryer is my friend now. Oh, my gosh. I, you know, everything you, you can warm up in there, it's crispy. And I love that. So, um, yeah. And I don't hardly make breakfast anymore. Yeah, it used to be my thing. When I was by myself, I would make scrambled eggs and um, hash browns and crispy bacon and an English muffin. And uh, I don't know. I kind of, I guess... Change, change your eating habits maybe when you're older. I don't get as hungry. And um, also, I have something that I haven't told anybody on, um, out there in social media. Uh, yeah, uh, I did watch Trisha's new podcast. I love Colleen. I love them. They have a great energy together. They have so much fun. I do the craft table for them when they have their podcast. So that's fun for me. And uh, yeah. So um, anyway. Let's cheers, and then I will tell you about what I recently had done for some surgery. So, trying this, it's a V8 Diet Energy. It's strawberry lemonade, and um, let's try it. Should see it. I'm sure it's got like vitamins, like uh, the V8 does. Oh yeah, C, niacin, B6, B12. Only two grams of carbs, ten calories. So. Let's do it, you guys. Get one of your favorite mugs. Squad goals. Goals. I have watched a lot of these shows. The Golden Girls still have reruns on. I think I've watched every one. So, anyway, don't want to get my lipstick on the glasses kind of hard to get off. It reminds me of my bartending days when women would have lipstick on the glasses and you would have to scrub it off first before you actually wash them so anyway cheers you guys to you and to our health oh mm, this is actually quite good you guys really really good i'd recommend it they don't they also have ones that aren't diet so there you go mm, so good 
Okay, so anyway, I um, was going to tell you what I had done for surgery. And, oh, she had my phone. I did have my phone somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, well, anyway, because I always get this wrong. I had what you call uh, capsular construct, construct, structural in my one breast, which means it films a hard cap around your implant. As you know, I had breast cancer in 2015 and my left breast and I, that um, implant was deflating. So I had to get something done because this one was way puffy and this one was, you know, and I had a lot of pain in there. So um, I go through Kaiser Permanente now, which I love. I had a wonderful, wonderful plastic surgery doctor. Um, she was amazing. And um, I am just now on my fifth week of healing. And um, I feel so, so really good. Here, let me close this one thing so I can see. Oh, there. Now I can see all of you, your comments. And um, I just haven't told anybody. I don't know. Um, but... This is for anybody who is going through any breast cancer, any surgeries, reconstruction surgeries, which I've had a ton of them. Um, but uh, this one I feel really good about. Uh, I followed the rules. Um, you have to stay on your back sleeping for like six weeks. And I think the first time I did. And that could be some of the problems if you don't sleep on your back for six weeks. So I've got like five days left on my back. I didn't think I could do it because I am not a back sleeper. So, yeah. Anyway, I feel good. Um, can now pick up Malibu because you couldn't pick up anything more than five pounds for the first after the first two weeks, and I have to wait like the whole I'm um, five to six weeks to pick up twenty pounds or more. So excited about that. And anyway, enough of that. Okay, so <laughs> Golden Girls, yeah, Golden Girls. It, it's funny because the girls and I. Uh, we'll talk about how different, because they were in their, like, most of them were in their 50s, and they looked like they were, like, 80, 70 to 80. But I think it was the hairstyles, too, back then. Um, even my mom looked older than she was, because I think, you know, they had the curly hair, the, all that, you know, that they didn't, they didn't have the blow dryers, they didn't have the flat eyes, they didn't have the curling. So I think, you know, it was just a different time then. Um, Yeah, you got this. Oh, thank you. I like to think I do, you know. Uh, oh, thank you. Prayers, prayers to you guys, to all of you, always. So, um, speedy recovery. I feel like I am now on the mend. It was a painful. It was painful. Maybe because I'm older and it takes longer to heal. Um, that could be. Because about, it took about three and a half weeks before I didn't feel a constant pain. So, um, Yeah. Thank you. Anyway, you guys, um, I want to show you some things on Poshmark if you're interested. Uh, I um, I have I have to go lead with this one first. I have not listed it yet. And also, my computer is going. It stops and starts. I don't know if that does it for you. Like I'm frozen, then it'll go. I hope that I hope it doesn't do that for you because that would be annoying. I really. Um, let them meet Kate. Somebody saw this on a TikTok. I had a, I just had it here. I had an um uh posted it yet on poshmark but she had a couple of these and um this one just happens to be a new one but she wore this uh i got a comment um, a message from a girl she goes oh i remember trisha wearing uh let them in 2012 so yeah that i love i love for people to dm me or comment because when I open a box, I mean, we got like 50 boxes to go of her stuff that's, you know, from years ago and over a decade ago. And I, it just is a, like a little bit of history of Trisha's life that I wasn't a lot of part of because I was busy working. She was busy working. She was hanging out, you know, with her friends. And um, now it's nice because, we you know, we hang out all the time. We're all she's settled and uh, has a wonderful life with Moses and Malibu. So. Uh, I love the stories. If you guys recognize any of the clothes she wore in videos or what have you, but 
Yeah. Actually, this is a little vintage purse. This is already up on Posh. Cute. But I just thought that was really nice. So I think whoever sent that, I love it. I love it. So, yeah. Oh, let's look at a couple more comments. Oh, can you please share what you replaced your implants with? I need to replace mine. I'm not sure what to do. Oh, you look amazing. Well, thank you. Um, silicone, for sure. Um, I'm not for sure of the size. I don't have the little card. But um, what she did this time, you know, since when you have a mastectomy, they take out, you know, all your tissue. She stitched the whole clo um, clothes a little bit more. So I wouldn't have to have as big implants. And she did that on both sides. And um, it's really, really, I love it. It just made all the difference in the world. It kind of brought out this. And I don't think I have to worry about it, you know, uh, deflating or anything. Also, the one implant um, was all, had a slow leak. So I'm so glad I did that. And she said, I cleaned it all out and everything. So I know they always recommend to have your implants change every 10 years, I believe it is now. So um, that is probably a smart thing. I know a lot of can't afford it. So I get that too. But um, just try and keep yourself healthy if you can. I mean, if you're comfortable, if there's no pain or anything that you see um, and you can't afford it, you just keep living life, right? And you pray it's all good for you. Okay. Uh, oh my God. I've been trying to sell stuff on literally every single site. It seems like no one's buying anything anymore. My stuff used to sell all the time. Have you noticed this too? You know, um, I just, um, we just sell Trisha's clothes on Poshmark and I had noticed, I, um, it has slowed down a little bit. I don't know if it's cause you know, the warm weather is coming. Kids are out of school. Um, people are more active now that it's warmer throughout most of the um, states here. So um, I see a lull and then it will pick up. And so, yeah, hang in there. Um, you know, like I say, if you can advertise through uh, TikTok, it's a good one to show your merch. Um, that's a big one. Uh, Instagram, you can make a reel and show, you know, your clothes. Just kind of get it out there more so if you can. So um, I do this because a lot of people want to see, you know, oh, can you show me what you're going to put up? What's up? And it's like, so I'm just kind of doing this and with the TikToks and stuff. So yeah. So good luck to you. It, it is tough, but good luck to you. Okay. All right. So let me get some of the stuff that I have put up in the last couple of days. Like I said, I have to, I have to organize and get more tops. I got a lot to send out too. So sorry guys. But, um, Trisha bought a lot of wild Fox back in the day. So yeah, this is a cute wild Fox diet Coke. A lot of this stuff too, they don't sell anymore. Um, you'll see some used in that, but, um, a, a lot of this, you know, like people go, oh, I wanted it, I wanted it, and also if you, her her closet is at you know the at sign, it's called something, but um, Trish P eighty eight on Poshmark, and you can always um, make an offer. And what I want um, people to know, Trisha has over almost one hundred forty three thousand followers just on Poshmark. So when you're making an offer, others are making offers too. And um, don't feel bad if I can't take them. If there's too many like the same, I just I have to wait. I want to be fair to everybody, you guys. And um, I think a lot of people don't realize that how many people are actually looking at her closet. So, um, yeah, you can always DM me if there's a problem or anything. Or if you're looking for a specific... Like the other day, a girl DM me and she asked um, if Trisha's going to sell her costumes. If you let me know which one, I can kind of look for them because right over here, um, you can't see it. This whole rack is costumes. I have another rack of costumes. I have some tubs above my head. So um, 
I just, I'm trying to just sell the regular clothes right now. Every once in a while I get a costume in there. Um, I have so the Hall there are Halloween costumes up right now. Um, but um, like the stuff like designer make a fill pot makes, um, which are big, bigger, bulkier ones. Um, they're just there for when I want to pick up up. I probably around Halloween time will put more on. So yeah. Also, if you do buy a Poshmark in any closet, um, if you bundle, if you are getting two or more items from any one closet, bundle them, you guys, because then you only pay postage once. If you, you know, buy one item, buy this item one at a time, you have to pay that postage every time. So bundle. A lot of people, especially new ones on Poshmark, don't know that. So save yourself some money. So I try and catch it too. So another wild fox. This is pretty cool. I don't know. It's got... It's, it's not like a Letterman thing, but it's, it's a raised W. So I don't know. Probably stands for something. I don't know. But Wild Fox again. Just put these up here. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, if you're not, I probably are gone by now. But um, yeah, here was a, a cool thing. This is a Top Shop one. Camel. She never wore them. But uh, brand new. But these are, I think, many years old, too. And um, you can look on Poshmark at the sizes, okay? A lot of these are, like, mediums now. And uh, so you know that um, everybody's like, well, that, that's not Trisha's. But you got to remember, these could be 10 to 12 to 15 years old when, you know, maybe she was a different size. She was a different size back then if you were a medium. I don't even want a medium. But, um that's the difference. They're not, you know, something she just purchased this year. These are stuff probably when she was 20, 22. So, yeah. Just saying. Disney. This is from Disney Parks. First of all, I don't know if you, can you see how, how those are so cute, how they did the princesses. It's like a patch and they sewed it on, but cute, cute, cute. From Disneyland Resorts, so that one is. Let me um, oh, love that, you guys. Um, let me see. Let's see. Have you noticed even sizes are different now? Literally, extra large is basically a medium now. It's wild, you know. Yes, especially, especially you guys, Dolls Kill. If you buy a Dow's Kill, a double XL is not a double XL. It's like a medium. So be really careful. Um, it's really a, a Dow's Kill is a, a younger kids brand, I think. I, you know, um, Trisha, like her, a lot of her Dow's Kill are just, you know, she's had in a box. So um, I look at them, I'm like, couldn't even get an arm in one, some of them. But yes, a lot of them. And if I notice that, I kind of say it runs small. Or I'll do um, tape measure of the waist or the length. So look for those pictures, too. Um, and like I say, if you ever have a question, let me know. But, yeah. Yeah, they are. I don't know why. It's, it's so crazy. Every brand runs different, for sure. Okay. Now, next is up. I already have these Lakers. Uh, leggings, I believe. Yeah, they're leggings. These, um, I always look online, too, to see, you know, are they new or not? And if they're not, then I know that they've been, you know, in her box, just sitting there. Because, you know, Trisha, she has a lot of clues. Back in the day, that's, she loved to do that. Here is something cute, ink. What is this? Um, international Concepts. This is, I like this material because... It's kind of slinky on your body, and uh, it's like a rounded hem. I love that. So that one got some Playboy already up online, but I just put this one up today. So cute. This I look at this, and sometimes it's like, oh, back in the day, this is Trisha. I feel this is Trisha, twenty-two years old. <laughs> I always wonder, how, where, how did you buy that one? Okay. 
And for what did you buy that one? This is, uh, oh, this is QT's. This is like a vintage movie. Uh, it was a limited edition. Meet Joe Black. But I, I love, I love that. That, the tag itself just looks so vintage, doesn't it? I love it. So, and it's distressed. I don't know if you can see the holes through there. Let me put, yeah. So it's distressed. Okay. Uh, ooh. Uh, let me put that up here because that's kind of, kind of where we're at. Oh, this is cool. Here's a wild fox, um, pants. But look at the bottoms, you guys. Isn't that wild bell bottoms? Woohoo! And they're in a soft material. Very soft, but, and these are stretch. They're very, very stretchy. Ah. Uh, okay, here is, now here is, I believe this is a doll's kill, Delia's. Uh, this is an extra large. Now, this looks like an extra large, I will say. Um, for Delia's, yeah. Cute, I love it. Flower power. I would have loved this back in the day when I was in grade school to wear. Oh, so cute. Oh, oh, here's one thing. Part of my backside, you guys. I'm so sorry. But here is something that is so cute. But I have to take a, a sip of our cheers cup. One thing I do like, I love to collect mugs. I have a lot of different mugs. You, as anybody that has followed me, um, you know. Mm. Oh, that is so good. Oh, hey, Lena, any designer bags? Yes, they're already, some are already up. I believe I have of Trisha's, maybe there's seven or eight designer bags up. So check it out. You can search for the items on her closet. Just put designer bags or if you're looking for a certain one. I know she's got uh, Gucci on there. Uh, I believe there's a Prada. Uh, is there a Valentino? But yeah, check it out. They're, uh, they are on there already. So thank you. Um, uh, is this a live sale on PM? You know, you mean live sale on Poshmark? I'm not, I don't know how to do that. Um, I, I wish I, I could. I wish they even had like a bidding thing because I have some that I have show, show that so many people want and I don't know what to price it at because I don't want to disappoint anybody. So I thought, oh man, if they had like a live auction or, you know, like put your bid in. It, if you're on Poshmark, um, I won't say your name because, um, but yeah, let me know. Um, I should look into that. But cute onesies, you guys. Are you ready for this? It's a Hello Kitty. It was a Dolls Kill collab. But look, this is the front, okay? With the, oh, got black at the bottom. But guys, but look, it's a drop seat onesies. I have, I love it because I have, I don't have a Hello Kitty, but look, how cute is that, you guys? Hello Kitty drop seat. I love it. I'll show you the pajamas I wear because, um, let me see. Let me see if I can find them. Ah! Hang on. I'm on. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Here they are. I have a, a pair myself. These are from Trisha's um, Sad Boy merch, which she does have Sad Boy 2005 merch on there. But this is my drop. This is her um, Sad Boy onesies. I believe um, this one's on her um, posh. But it is so cute. It is so comfy i love it it's my favorite pair of pajamas to wear to bed so yeah this one actually is up there too okay um let me see i was gonna answer somebody uh oh are you excited for the barbie movie oh yes of course i just went with trisha to um the little mermaid which that was great it was kind of cool seeing like real people um, do the movie, uh, the Barbie movie. I just read you guys. How funny is this? That, um, they had so much paint on the Barbie movie, pink paint that they ran out out. Like they couldn't find it all over. Kind of hard to believe, but, um, okay. If that's what they're saying. Right. Um, 
I do have Gucci slides. I have things all over. I just reach for them. I do have Gucci slides. I do want to clean them up a little bit. Um, I believe these are a, a seven, but they run kind of small. But um, I love them. And but they were small for me and Trisha and Callie, so we'll sell them. Here's something I just got out of a, a blast from the past, what I call her boxes when she was, I think, still at the Palazzo or even at the beach, you know, in Playa. <laughs> How it, well, oh, I guess that's a heart when I show it to you guys, but see, it has straps, so it's a bag. Let me read what it says. I think I covered up my glasses. Um, yep. That's what happens when you have bad eyes. Okay, let me show you. Let me see what this is. I, I just, it is uh, from Sugar Thrills. It's a multicolor mega heart tote. <laughs> that is quite a tote, you guys. Oh, my gosh. If you went to the beach, you could get your whole, you can get everybody's towel in there and their sunscreen, hats. But, um, yeah, I haven't put that one up yet, but I just, I just think it's unique, right? Okay. What else, what else should I show you? Uh, this I like, I haven't put this one up yet, but this is from Nympha and I, this, I just saw, but kind of cool. It must be a dress. It's very long though. You have maybe have to be more than five three which I am this one already on posh uh, there's a couple other backpacks on there um here's oh this is kind of cool you know target back in the day I think had cuter clothes more variety um this is wild fable and uh this was 30 bucks but I haven't got this up yet I want to try and get it up I have, have have a busy week um I always help Trisha with Malibu when she's filming her podcast and she's got something else going on this week. So, um, yeah, cute. But I thought this was really cute. You know, I don't see these for Wild Table and it's nice. It's jean material. It's really pretty cool, I think. Here, oh, here's some other purses. I I do. I'll make, oh, you know what? They're going to be up on um, uh, Posh on the YouTube. I'll put them up. I won't show you. Any, I try not to show you anything I did put up on there. Just saying. Okay. This is cute. Oh my gosh. Wild flax. How cute is that, you guys? And it's got the wild fox. I love the colors of it. I'm really not a camel person, but I would wear this. This is brand new also. This is already up, up, up. Love it. Let me see. Oh, love the banana dress. Oh, it is pretty cool, I got to say. You know, Trisha's taste is so unique. Um, everybody's, um, not everybody, but I get some comments, and she does that. Um, they're, like, Trisha's clothes are the best. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I and I think the, the ones that are, like, over years old, like I say, when she was still in her 20s, are the most unique. So I'm going over there today. In fact, I have to cut this pretty short today, but, and I'm going to open some more boxes from years back. So I'm excited, you guys. Let me just uh, show you a couple more. Um, if you guys were ever on, on, went to see Trisha on tour, uh, this is a heartbreak hotel distressed. T, this is the only one that I have found so far, but um, yeah, so it's Queen. It's in the back. It has all the places she went to. That is already up on Posh, and this is two. This was a cute little thing. This was a Sugar Thrills. It's um, your little bibs, shorts, and the back is out. This would look, I always thought this would be cute if I was if I was younger, but put the wild fox underneath it. Oh my God. How cute would that be? And then just wear it. That's what I would put together anyway. Okay. I'm going to let you go because I have to go get ready. And, um, yeah, I will do this again. Um, 
also i i'm hip and i love doing this i do i do love going through posh i love looking at her stuff and i'm thinking God, i wish i wish i would have had that when i was 20 you know i i just never had any cool clothes ever so i'm just like reliving my teens my child uh the 20s i i love it all also another thing that's coming up i don't know if um you have seen trisha i think this was in the last um week or two but her black dress with the big bow that's gonna be on posh soon i don't have that listed yet so i'll try and put that in my one of my things to do anyway i was going to tell you that i have not been watching tv the only time i do i get uh, i try to go up to bed and um on the weekends, it's been Mike and Molly. I've been watch, been watching a lot of them. And then um, Two and a Half Men. I have to say, first of all, that show would not make it in this day and age. But I did find out that I do like Ashton Kutcher better on Two and a Half Men than Charlie. Uh, Charlie Sheen. Uh, he, I don't know. It. I like it better. He's not as much of a pig. Anyway, okay, you didn't hear it from me for, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, from our entertainment, entertainment Tonight interview. Good job. So, um, yeah, uh, we're going to try and do this more often. Uh, if you have any questions, write them down for the next time. So, oh, where's your jacket from? Well, it's um, Trish. She got, she got us. I know I have a pink one around here somewhere, but... Um, she had them made up. Like, I don't know. I don't, this could be like 10 years old. I, I like I said, I don't even know if she wore it because we had pink ones too. So, um, I'm going to get this up on Posh shortly. This isn't, isn't on there yet. So, um, oh, thanks. You watch it two and a half minutes every you night. Know, I really, I really do too. It kind of calms me down. I'm doing my, um, games on my phone or you know scrolling at social media um i've been doing more TikToks with the posh so i like that a lot but anyway yeah okay you guys i gotta run but i'm so glad you joined me it's been fun um yeah if, uh, let me know if you want to talk about anything um just read another comment Oh, it's been really nice. Trish really is so inspiring and a good role model. Malibu is lucky. Trish shows that no matter what you like, what you dress like, all that matters is that you're having fun and feel comfortable. And you know what? That is for any age. Um, I love how even women in their 80s are dressing. She goes, I want to be fun. And, you know, it's like people go, sometimes they go, oh, your hair is so long. You know, I've had short hair all my life. I never been had my mom used to cut my hair. I never had any hair. So it's like I am having long hair. I don't care how old I am. It's like people go, um, it's just live for you. You know, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. Um, just like everybody goes, oh, you know, you, you can't change. I am not the same person I was when I was 20, 22, 18. I'm not the same person when I was 30. It's like we all evolve. We all change. Uh, I mean, I made mistakes in my 20s. I mean, that's what you do. You're living life and you don't know. You're kind of, you know, because you don't have the wisdom that you do when you get older like me. It's like, oh, you look back and like, oh, I should have done that different. That, But you can't change it. That's your life. And you just, you know, persevere because you're still learning. It's, you know, I don't know even when you're 80 if you learned it all from life. But um, yeah, I, I don't like when people go, oh, you can't, nobody can change. If you don't change when you're 20 to when you're 35, 40, you, you must not be getting out in the world or something because you have to change for yourself, you know, as far as just being more thoughtful, kind. Uh, this is what I should do. I, I don't act like that anymore or whatever. And I, I, you know, was like that too. I mean, I'm sure many of you were, um, you, you just can't, there's just no way you could stay the same when you're 18 and not learn by your life, your life mistakes, your life's accomplishments. And, um, when you get to my age, 
you hope that you can pass on some of the wisdom. I mean, they still have to experience it for themselves because words only go so far, so much. So, yeah, that's why forgiveness is a great thing, you know, and you move on ahead with your life. So anyway, that was my little spiel for today. Oh, here's one. We grow as humans constantly. My grandma is 80 and says her opinions and views and attitude is still evolving. Oh. First of all, bless her so much. And she is so right. The problem is the younger people don't, some don't want to believe it. And they don't care. Like, oh, you know, what do they know? So bless you. Bless your grandma. That was a, that, that was a great comment. Thank you so much. Okay, now I really have to go. I'm still getting into your comments, you guys. Good seeing you. Good seeing you, too. I love you all. Let me see if I can end this. And um, till next time, um, I promise I'm going to do more, okay? Love you. TikTok. I'm on TikTok. Mama got back, 583, if you want to catch me there. Bye.